Hey everyone, welcome to Plants and Politics. So as I mentioned in the last video, our podcast, if you're listening there, the Republican Party was hacked in Wisconsin. So they have confirmed that hackers have stolen $2.3 million from the Wisconsin Republican Party, money that had been set aside to help Donald Trump win his reelection next week. And GOP members contacted the FBI on October 22nd after someone in the campaign noticed that an invoice had been generated for no apparent reason. However, the state Republican Party apparently failed to notify Trump campaign officials in Wisconsin. So they first heard about the attack and the looting of these funds through media reports. However, the Republican Party chairman knew, he, his name is Andrew Hitt, he told reporters that the hackers, quote, manipulated invoices from four vendors who were being paid for direct mail for Trump's reelection efforts, as well as for pro-Trump material, such as hats to be handed out to supporters. Invoices and other documents were altered, so when the party paid them, the money went to the hackers instead of the vendors. So they just redirected the payment, like the address, I guess, of where it was going to be sent. And while Hit claims the loss of this $2.3 million isn't a big deal, he told reporters that the money was for services that have already been rendered. So that means they're going to have to cut something else. This money has already been allocated that you can't take back those services or whatever it was that, that this money was supposed to go for. So they're going to have to make cuts elsewhere. And the Associated Press reported that there have been 800 phishing attacks made in an effort to gain access to the Wisconsin Democratic Party in this campaign cycle. Luckily, none of the attempts have been successful. And in addition, Biden has been out raising Trump by really fairly large margins in recent months. Plus, Trump's campaign burned through over $800 million out of the $1.1 billion that he had on hand at the beginning of this campaign. Uh, as a result, uh, as you may or may not know, Trump replaced his original campaign manager, Brad Parscale, who, you know, based on some reporting that's out there, he may have been using these campaign funds like his own personal piggy bank. So, you know, who knows? He may be facing some charges himself. Maybe he and Trump can share a cell. In any case, um, it was recently revealed that the Trump campaign was still spending very foolishly, and they've already had to scale back on pre-planned ads on TV. So this is not good for Trump. He won Michigan by a very slim margin in 2016. He won by only 23,000 votes. So this could be a make or break state for his campaign, for his reelection. And they need every available penny to keep his message front and center in front of people in that state. It's going to be interesting. You know, maybe they'll create a Bannon style, we fund the campaign, people powered movement. <laughs> I mean, I get that his people, his supporters are already sending him money, but I mean, you know, they think COVID is a hoax. So put them out there, put them on the front lines. Why not use them as human billboards? I mean, <laughs> just an idea. I don't know. Maybe they can drive around with car magnets or uh, I don't know, hang out on the street corners with their poster boards. Oh, just some ideas. I won't even charge Trump for this consultation. <laughs> so anyway, guys, that is it. That is the uh, good news for the left. <laughs> so as always, like, share, subscribe. Thank you for watching and listening. And as always, take care and I'll talk to you soon. Thanks for listening to Plants and Politics. The only way we can take our country and power back is to spread the truth and build an army. So remember to like, follow, subscribe, and share on Facebook, YouTube, and wherever you listen to your podcasts. Thanks again.